Paul buys $1,000 worth of shares every month. He buys 24.23 shares in January, February, and March, and 22.34 shares in April and May. What is his average cost per share? We know that when we are calculating the average, we should be adding up the number of shares and dividing by the number of months. But we only have two amounts of shares listed, but five months. So we will need to represent some of the numbers of shares accordingly. In January, February, March, Paul's $1,000 got him 24.23 shares. So that's three months at the value of 24.23 shares. So we'll make sure that it's represented three times in this calculation. Plus, we need to add his 22.34 shares that he bought in both April and May, which need to be calculated twice in this operation. All of this is added up and divided out over the five months Paul bought shares. We will then follow our order of operations to help us work through this. We'll start with the brackets and inside of those, the multiplication. So three months, he bought 24.23 shares, which gives us 72.69 shares in those three months, plus two months where he bought 22.34 shares, which gives us 44.68 shares in the later months. All of this will be divided by five. We're still putting it there because we aren't forgetting about it. Now we'll add these shares together, giving us a total of 117.37 shares he bought over the course of five months. Then we can divide that total by five to figure out his average per month. 117.37 divided by five is 23.474. This means that Paul bought an average of 23.474 shares per month.